to meteorologist Jamie Jarosik with the Miami Valley's certified most accurate forecast. We've got a lot of clouds working through the Miami Valley right now. This is that last area of cloud cover that we've been tracking this morning. And we're looking at it through our Jeff Schmidt Auto Group camera out in Beaver Creek right along 35. This is going to be moving out of the area over the next hour or so. We do get back to full sunshine very shortly. We even have those clouds in downtown Dayton starting to lighten up a bit though as you look off to the west. Temperatures are in the 20s so it is another cold morning. We have a south wind coming in at 11 miles per hour. We're expecting wind speeds to stay pretty good until we get to the early afternoon hours. Uh, that's the time frame between now and then where we may see some gusts approach 30 miles per hour. So right now we still have at least one spot feeling like the single digits. That's up in Bell Fountain. It feels like 9 degrees. A 10 degree wind chill in Springfield and it feels like 12 degrees here in the Dayton area. So if you're planning a walk, yes, we have a little cloud cover around right now and it's cold. But as we go beyond 9, 10 a.m., we're getting back to full sunshine. Right around lunchtime, we're at 32 and then highs get into the low 40s today. Day. Yesterday's high was just 28 degrees, so this should feel a good deal better. And it does look like we'll enjoy that sunshine as well. The sun always makes it feel a little bit nicer as well. Tomorrow's even warmer, 53. We're above normal, the normal high, 47. Then we take a drop Friday right at normal with some rain. Over the weekend, we'll warm back into the 50s, and then we'll take another drop going into the first half of next week. A couple days there in the low 40s. After that, we'll start a warming trend that takes us back into the 50s by the end of the week. Definitely looking at some back and forth here, but no huge temperature swings. They're fairly minor. Here's a check of the satellite radar loop. You can see those clouds that have been moving through beginning to clear those western counties, and that will lead to a very bright afternoon. The next system to really impact us is moving into the west coast today, that area of low pressure. It is going to cross the Rockies and take a southerly track. It'll strengthen and pick up some moisture as it heads our way. Not really getting here until the end of the week. So we have a couple of dry days before rain chances return and it will be warm enough for rain rather than wintry precipitation. Future track shows the clouds clearing out. We have mostly sunny sky at noon and sunny conditions at five o'clock right before the sun sets. We'll start clear tonight, but clouds will be moving in. It'll become partly cloudy and Thursday looks like a partly sunny day, but it'll be a dry day as temperatures get a little bit warmer. Thicker clouds move in for Thursday night and rain will follow. It looks pretty wet for the commute to work Friday morning. Area wide rain may see some heavier rounds come through during the late morning. At lunchtime, we'll start to see this become a little more scattered and a little bit more dry time will build in during the afternoon. But rain chances even linger as we head into those evening hours. Here's your forecast for today. It's going to become mostly sunny. It'll be a windy and chilly afternoon with a high of 43 degrees. Tonight's low drops to 30 with partly cloudy conditions. And then tomorrow up into the low 50s. It looks partly sunny. Rainy on Friday with highs in the upper 40s. We get into the 50s again over the weekend. Rain chances linger as we go through the first part of next week.